last time? One. This is my second time uh, with the orchestra, which is wonderful to come back. It's uh, great to be here and, and it's fantastic with this orchestra. I always feel very you know, strong energy from, from the group, you know. This is a very demanding program, but the orchestra has really a positive attitude towards it. So, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to the concert. You are really way above him, huh? Well, Ligeti really was one of the, let's say, between five to ten composers that really changed the course of uh, new music during the 60s. And there were, there were actually many, many other composers around in the same scene, but, um, some composers kind of really stand out um, and Ligeti actually didn't write so many pieces uh, but each piece is very very unique and um, even though most of the pieces are quite short except the opera um, it feels really a lot of things inside one small piece you know a little bit like Stravinsky in that sense you know it can be a piece of 10-15 minutes but uh, very very dense In a way, it's a whole world. Uh, all the pieces by Ligeti are somehow connected. So they are, except the early pieces that, that are still uh, uh, with tonality, um, all the pieces have a, a clear connection to each other. And so you have a lot of really long notes and a lot of very fast notes. Uh, and this contrast between uh, the, the fast action and the stillness is something that is connected in all the pieces, really. In Clocks and Clouds, which is a very rarely performed piece for, for a female choir, um, chamber choir and, and small orchestra. Um, it's a piece that, that is kind of um, led to some of the, to, to his opera, his only opera that he managed to finish. Um, and in this piece you have a, a kind of invented language that the singers are singing in. Um, and you have um, a typical late 60s, early 70s Ligeti piece, which is, has incredible virtuosity and a kind of a huge um, uh, way with dealing with the orchestra. So the instrumentation is vital. You, you, there's only very few players, but it sounds like a huge orchestra because each player, each single player in the strings and the winds and brass is playing a different part, completely different independent part. So you have this cl these clouds, these, these huge um, chords, and also movement of sound. Uh, and then in contrast with that in this piece, there is a kind of constant rhythm that's very asymmetrical, but each singer and each player has a, at some point a kind of rhythm that's very um, asymmetrical but constant. Um, so the, the contrast between the clouds and the clocks is, is the meaning of this piece and, and the, the title of this piece really applies to almost all the other pieces by Ligeti that he ever wrote, this, this idea. Um, so in this piece it's kind of really um, given in the, easy, in the simplest way to the audience. The, you can really understand it very quickly um, just by even use of these two words. <laughs> 